freaking awesome. Look at that. Bin full of black and white spitters. Super pretty, but fast freaking cobras. Beautiful little male. Now he doesn't have horns right now, but as he grows up in their day, just like that. God, I'm so freaking happy to have the Beatles in my collection again. This guy, and my phone's ringing. Good morning, everyone! Hello, chickens! Looking for food? Turkeys, good morning. How are you? What is going on, guys? Howdy do! How has everyone been this week? Hey! Hey, stop attacking my feet! Get out of here, dude! Freaking madhouse over here. Look at all these chickens! New day, guys! It's been a good week. Oh, we got Hansi in here. We put Hansi in the shit at night, so that way he doesn't get eaten by any predators. No coyotes, no raccoons, or any of the other creatures can get Hanzi, so we put him in there by himself. Just to make sure he's super safe, because he got beat up by a guinea hen last week, and he's still recovering. He's almost 100%. He's probably like 98%. Hey, turkeys, leave him alone. Gobbles, relax. Yeah, that guinea hen right there, Frank, the big one. Frank kicked his butt one morning, and he's just, uh, he's getting better. Frank, you leave him alone, dude. No funny business today. Gobbles? Come here, my baby Gobbles. Hello, Gobbles. How are you? I know. How are you? Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, my sweet Gobbles. Good morning, sweet girl. Oh, I love this bird. You are so cute, Gobbles. You're my favorite. Stop humping each other. You guys are girls. We got a whole lot of stuff to clean in here. The mangies. Oh, we got a dead chicken there that he didn't eat yesterday. We need some waters. We got some poops. We got lots of poops. Look at all those poops right there. All sorts of things to get cleaned out in here. Not only that, but I got to put, I got to finish putting. See, there's no tint on that window over there. So it's been getting a little on the warm side during the day, especially on these hot freaking days. Hopefully, it starts to cool down and then we start going into like the winter months here in Florida. Yeah, exactly. No winter. But it's been getting really hot and the sink room has been getting up to like 86, even 89 degrees some days, which is way too hot for my liking. I like to keep the room at an ambient temperature of like 76 and then have the cages have heat according and then no heat on what doesn't like heat. All those animals I like to keep on the cooler side, like the rhino viper, the gabinos, the insularis, the mangs, they like everything on the cooler side. So let's get the lights turned on in here and ready for people to come over here and check out the animals we got to get this room looking top notch oh look what we got over here now hey joshy boy we're making a new cage before we clean up all this other stuff and i'm uh, doing the windows real fast just so it doesn't get hot in here well before we get started on everything today this cage i'm actually getting a new snake today really really excited about this one really 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 excited you guys aren't gonna find out in this video you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next one all right so let's get this cage built and then we're gonna get all these freaking things cleaned and fed start with shatid my crazy ass king Cobra, hello. Dean, how are you today? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing we're cleaning. Hello, Shatid. Come over here. Come here, yeah. Looking good. Now you can see her head is doing pretty good. One more shed, and she'll be back to normal, man. See? Just a little, a little tiny, little tiny blip on her nose. A little bit of tiny stuff on her scales, but not that bad. So let's go ahead and put you down in the fuck trash can. Excuse me, ma'am. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. And in the can. Secure. Let's go ahead and clean this cake out. All sorts of dirtiness. Got dirty water, got poop everywhere. Get everything looking good for the boys to come over tomorrow and check everything out. Shatid! Hello, my man. Clean your cage. How you are? You gonna be mean today? She's actually being pretty good today. No strikiness. No meanness. Go ahead, put you in your cage. There you go, sweetheart. Look how beautiful, nice and clean that cage is. I just got some fingerprints on the glass I gotta wash off, but that's okay. We can do that when we're done. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. Make sure the cage is closed, locked, and secured, and let's get 
rusty out. Hello, dude. Hello, I'm just reaching and grabbing. Gotta be careful, though. Gotta be really careful. Let's get on the moving head over there. There we go. Good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get you on out. He just shed recently, probably uh, maybe like four or five days ago. About time for a meal. Give him a nice big old python. We got several in the freezer. Alex has a bunch of Burmese pythons in his freezer as well that we need to get for us. Go ahead, put you in the can. He's such a gentle giant right here. I love this freaking thing. Nice and clean and fluffy. Fresh fluff. Gotta love the fresh fluff. What do you think about that, Abe? They did a good fluff job. Did good? Yeah. Cool. Those are some sweet glasses you got there. Well, all those super glue. Super glue glasses? Hey, it works. Okay, all right, let's glasses. put this snake back. You wanna put him back? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. Abe, putting back Russ. Let's go. What do you guys think? How's he gonna do? Comment down below. He's gonna do great. Is he gonna do bad? I, I, I think he's gonna do fine. Rusty is, he's a great snake to work with. Good job, you switched the orientation of the glass. Yeah, that is, that's Jake from Snake Farm's old hook that broke forever ago, so use a good one. I like to use, yeah, that little red guy right there. Of course, he's got the proper shoes on for doing this. Great, always make sure you have like hard toe shoes on. Sure. Safety first, people. Okay, let's go, you're okay. You, 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 you're doing fine, you're doing a good job. He is fantastic. There we go. He is fantastic. Fantastic. Who's fantastic? Burlala. Fante fantanta. Burlala. I don't know that rest of that song. It's a cool shirt he's got on too. Wow, look at that. It's like you know what you're doing almost now. Let's get a little... Ah! I'm trying to get a good shot, Braden. There we go. That's good. Russ, nice new cage, dude. Fresh water, fresh bedding. Love that. We gotta take out these rattlesnakes because there's poop everywhere in the rattlesnake cage. And then we have two jumbo rats that are nice and thawed out. We're gonna feed them before we put them back in there. So we'll take them both out, clean their cage, and then feed them separately. All right, you missed that strike. You just opened up the cage and struck it. Hi. Hello, rattlesnakes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Robin, how are you doing, sweetheart? All right, so let's go ahead and separate these guys. Go ahead. Woo! That was real close to the face. You gotta watch yourself. Robin, go ahead. Put Robin in the trash can. There we go, sweetheart. Boom, boom, boom. Batman's coming out to say hi. We're gonna put Batman in here. This is the other holding receptacle that we like to separate them in for feeding and cleaning. Go. My dude Batman, just make sure that he knows that we're uh, just coming in here to take care of him, you know? His head is right in the front, so you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to carefully go to the back and inch his body out this way. See, there you go. Now it's safe to take him out. So what I want to do is make sure his head is away from me, get the rest of his body like so, hook him about a quarter of the way up, just like that, and just look at how massive my big old rattlesnake is. He's so cool. Alright, so let's get him in here. Boom. Top on. Make sure it's secure. Put a hook on the top of this guy. And my phone's ringing. Feeding time. We got a jumbo rat right here. For Robin. Hey, Bummer. Look. Ooh. Snow, snow. Snowy snow. Come on. Come on, Bummer. There we go. Come on. There. Little tiny baby bite. That's good enough. You should smell it and eat it. Now let's give Batman his meal. We're gonna use that. All right, go. Look, dude. Look, check it out. Oh yeah, he's hungry. See that venom that came out of there? Nice. Go. Leave that right there. Put the tools on top so that way we know that there's a snake inside the receptacle. Let's get this cage clean. Let them eat, and we'll put them back. Look at these boys doing such a great job cleaning and fluffing. Now, I heard Abe was a fluffer before he uh, came over here, right? Wasn't that true? Yeah, bro. Weren't you a fluffer before you got this job, right? And if you don't know what a fluffer is, go ahead and look it up on Google. You're welcome. And you give this guy a little today, too. Woo! Woo! Holy crap. This is my spectacle cobra. The same kind of cobra that your boy got bit by. So you want to be very careful. She's in shed, too, so we're going to give her a nice little 
soak her. Actually, I'm going to take this. This is a clean water bowl that we just got from her. I'm going to give her a little soak while she's chilling in here. So we're gonna, we got a meal outside to process with her as well. So let's just get her in here nice and safely. Top on nice and secure. Now let's get her cage all situated and get her a nice meal. My little female speck. This is the one that we had at Chandler's house and we were trying to breed with his male. She's full of water right now, so I want to just get her right into the cage nice and fast. She's nice and hydrated. And then I got a small rat. I'm going to go ahead, put it on top of her hide box. Actually, I'm going to put it right there for her. Hopefully she smells it and eats it. And she is home free. Next up on our list is Kilo, and I'm gonna have Josh take Kilo out, so obviously Josh is over here doing training. He's doing his crocodilian hours, and he's doing his venomous hours. So today is Josh's turn to do some venomous stuff, and what better snake to do it with than my boy Kilo. There we go. Your hair's so cute today too, Josh. I forgot to tell you. So Kilo, how are you, dude? He ate a medium wrap probably like four or five days ago. So just be gentle with him. He's probably got it, uh, he's probably got it pretty, digested by now. Look how thick he is. Dude, he's getting thicker than a Snickers, dude. Finally getting some weight back on Kilo. I freaking love it. When I first got him, he was super thick. and was on a little bit of a diet for a while. You remember, he was just eating chicks. And then I had to put him on a little, uh, a little different feeding regimen. Take it all up? Yeah, you can take the whole hide out and make your life a little bit easier. Thanks, guys. There you go. Nice and safe. Perfect. Slowly but surely. Now he's jumping on after you. There we go. Mm-mm-mm. Nice. All right. Perfect. All right, all right. Here we go. Get him out of the cage. There we go. Perfect. In here. I'm going to come through. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Hey, Kilo. Put, oh, oh. There we go. Okay, he's not. Come on. He's getting thick. All right, and down. I feel like this would be easier. Oh, his head, his head, his head. Oh, my God. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There we go, nice and secure. Woo! Perfect. Good job, Josh. Killed it. Now let's clean this poop. Man, it is raining outside. Holy crap. The rain gets all the snakes nimbly bimbly, so be real nice and careful, okay? So Josh is gonna put Kilo back, and I'm gonna have Brandon take out Gabby. First time Brandon's ever held the gaboon. How you doing, sir? You look freaking great, man. I love it. So nice when your snakes are nice, fat, and healthy and just doing great. There we go. Good job. Nice, nice. There you go. Perfect. Dude, he looks huge in that shot. Oh, whammy, whoop. He's dusting your skills, dog. There, there you go. <laughs> Gotta Hello. stay nice, calm, and collective. Hello. Killed it. There it is. Not bad, bro. You know, it's gotta be Getting better, bro. Just takes practice. Practice and experience. All right. Gabby time. There we go. Let me get that out of there. See how she's doing. She's just chilling in the corner right there. There we go. Yeah, I would get her from the other side. Normally, we like to take it from left side, but she's in that right corner, so that's okay. Can make an exception. There we go. Bro, look at you. You're like a freaking pro now, dude. I'm proud. Just like that. You're, you're doing a great job. Perfectly. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice. You get a little shot, show me how beautiful that snake is. Look at that freaking dude. Man, kaboons are just so awesome, man. Just such a beautiful snake. The contrast with the black bin, God, the pattern is just absolutely unreal. And soon, I really want to redo a lot of these cages once we get everything situated. I have a shipment from Vision coming in the next couple days. We're gonna rearrange all these Vision cages. Everything that is not vision, we're taking out of here for the most part and replacing with vision cages. Got a nice new vision logo to go up on the wall too. But I wanna do like more of like a mulch substrate for the Gaboon and then go get a bunch of dried leaves and just cover the bottom with dried leaves. So that way you guys can really appreciate that pattern and see how they use their pattern to just camouflage themselves on the forest floor and just absolutely be undetectable. It's so freaking cool. So we're gonna do that very soon. Tain tune. We're gonna be resetting up a bunch of these cages and I'm gonna be going step by step. We're gonna go through each species and show you guys how to make them feel nice at home even being in captivity here. Nice and clean. Got the glass fresh, got fresh water, and we fluffed the bottom and got all the poop out. Looking good. All right. Ready? Ready to put them back, Abe? Sure. Let's get it. There you go, good job taking the lid off without using your hands. Hello, my beautiful baby. Hello, how are you? I know, Mr. Oh. Lincoln's gonna pick you up right now. Wrong hook. Yeah, you gotta use that thick boy. 
thick boy for a thick girl. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Good. Nice. Looking real good. There we go. Look at that. Woo! Like little caterpillar inches. Right? So cool. Love that freaking snake. So badass. Go right into your hide box. Look at her. Oh, you're such a good girl. Thank you. Good job, bro. So since we just had Gabby out, my Gaboon Viper, might as well take out the Gabino. So this is a hybrid Gaboon Viper crossed with a Rhino Viper. Now this is my yearling female that I just got maybe a couple weeks ago. She's already had a couple meals and is just looking absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like she's a little bit on the dark side right now, so she might go and shed soon. Just look at how absolutely amazing this freaking snake is. And not only do I have a yearling female, but we just got a baby male that's right behind Josh right now that I'm gonna show you once I clean this cage. So let's get this Gabino safely in here. Just look at how beautiful these colors are, especially on that black the contrast. Crazy. With the baby blues on there, the red, and all this stuff will be way more vibrant once she sheds. She'll probably shed this week. So happy to have these freaking snakes. Dream snakes. Gabino's cage is nice and clean. Skipping all the cleaning for that just because, I don't know, we're just kind of like taking snakes out and putting them away. It's not really that exciting. But, yeah. God, I'm so freaking happy to have Gabino's in my collection again. So absolutely amazing. Just what a freaking absolutely beautiful snake. And now when I get all my new visions in, this snake is going to have a nice, beautiful freaking vision set up as soon as we get the new ones in. So let's go ahead and put this female away in her cage. There we go, locked and secure. And now, I wanna show you this baby that we just got. Even though you guys probably already just saw the video, the one we put out last, but let's show you again. Closure does not need to be clean. And now this is just temporary, okay? We just have him in here, just temporary. He was quarantining over at Ryan's house. He's good to go. It's a captive bred snake in the United States. Really, really cool. Let's go ahead and show you how awesome this little tiny guy is. Look at this. Look at this little tiny man. Like, carefully take that out. Look at how little that Gabino Viper is, guys. How freaking insane is that? He's so tiny. Beautiful little male. Now, he doesn't have horns right now, but as he grows up and matures, those horns will grow. All his colors will intensify. He looks like he's about to go through shed soon, too. He's a little on the dark side. All those colors are going to be so vibrant and bright here in just a little bit. We have a baby, so now you guys can watch this guy grow to a nice, big, strong male adult. And then hopefully in the next maybe two or three years, I'll be able to breed them and have F2 Gabinos. So cool. Now we got to do this Eastern. This Eastern always strikes out. Surprise, it hasn't struck yet. This thing is crazy. It is not like my other Easterns. It's super nice. This is a mean Mamma Jamba. And this was actually confiscated by FWC from somebody that was keeping this snake without a permit a few years ago. And then FWC brought it over to my house. Doing good. He's getting a good size. He was tiny, tiny, tiny when I first got him. But as you can see, he's getting decent. Very, very cool. I love me a nice, normal Eastern. They're so dope. Perfect. Florida snake. Florida native, just like me. So let's get this cage cleaned out. Just got a little bit of poop in here. Get some fresh water going, clean the glass, and we're good to go. Okay, it's nice and clean. Go ahead and put this guy back. Now this snake we're gonna double hook because he's being a little crazy. And I am not taking any chances today. Time to do things the right way. No more doing showboaty stuff. I'm a dad. Just after everything that's happened recently, man, just really put everything back into perspective for me. These animals are very, very dangerous. And you have to take them very, very seriously. You need to be safer. Not only for just you guys, but for my family and my daughter, you know what I mean? All it takes is one bite, then two, and it can wreck you. Your whole world be turned upside down in just a second. So this is my Central American rattlesnake that I got from Mark McCarthy when he was a baby. Actually, this cage isn't even dirty. This water hole is really clean. So yeah, we don't even really have to do this. I'm gonna feed this snake. There's no poop in here or anything. I'm just gonna still take you out and show you guys this. So this is a Central American rattlesnake. These guys will get a little bit bigger. They're not a huge, huge rattlesnake, but really, really cool. This one has a stripe going all the way down, like halfway through its body. And then it's got some chevrons here. Very minimal pattern on this snake, which is really cool. Very, very, you can see the scales on this snake. It's really different than any of the other snakes. Not only are they keeled, 
but they kind of look like little bumps, almost like how the Gila monsters bumps are. Super, super cool. Almost just like a Gila, feels like a football. Very, very bumpy texture snake. Get them on the hook like that. Go ahead and put you back in your enclosure. Okay. There you go. Thanks for cooperating today, dude. Go ahead and give this guy a meal. There we go. Right one. Now we had him on a diet. There we go. Because this snake, when it was over at Chandler's house, Chandler was feeding the crap out of him and he got a little bit on the too thick side. So put him on a little bit of a diet and now he's looking great. So we'll give him a nice meal. Now we have my copperhead penny. Oh, you're striking. You're hungry too, huh? Take you out. You do have some poop and you need some clean arms. So we'll go ahead, take you out, put you in here, and get your cage nice and clean. What a beautiful snake, though. Let's just take a second to appreciate that. Look at the markings on this copper. It's super, super, super pretty. My buddy Johnny, he's actually coming over tomorrow. He sent me a picture of a copperhead yesterday that was bright freaking red. It was so cool. A wild caught one, too. I think over in Pennsylvania where they look very, very dry. Go ahead, put you in there, nice and safe, make sure it's nice and secure. And back she goes, nice and clean. There you go, sweetheart. Give you a little meal, too. Get it, get it, it's right here, it's right here. What are you doing with your face? There you go. Bite, let go, all she needs. Time to put these rattlesnakes away, now that they eat. Looking nice and thick. My girl Robin right here. Go ahead and carefully take her out, because obviously she's got a meal in her. So I don't want to handle her too much. And then you're risking regurgitation, which is never good. Dude, she is freaking heavy. Holy crap. I feel like these guys are getting bigger. There you go, sweetheart. One there. Nice new fresh cage for you. Beautiful. Boyfriend Batman. Hopefully he ate as well. Yep. Crush those jumbo rats, dude. This guy out of here. Nice and careful. We gotta make sure to watch that open cage behind me. But Robin's in there doing good. There we go. Batman, my big boy. They're so heavy and big, it kind of hurts them using a hook. So once they're being nice and placid like this, it's okay. Especially with kings. Some snakes are just so big that like using a hook is not good for them sometimes. So that's the only reason why I put him away without that hook. Because now that he ate. He's not going to be super defensive and uh, food hungry right now and have a feeding response. I know I'm nice and safe to put him back in there, obviously, and being very careful, keeping his head away from me. There you go. Look at that. Giving the Insularis a nice spray down. These cages are doing absolutely great, the venom proof cages. Chinese cobras need to be cleaned, and there's a full shed in here. Now, I don't know who's been, I don't know who follows me on Instagram, but if you saw my story a couple days ago, Gianna has been making this shed art. So she takes all the sheds that we have and she's making these really cool vases and picture frames and other little really cool things to hold the snake shed in that we're gonna be selling on my website. And we're actually gonna have a whole bunch of them for sale at Animal Con. So if you see this video before then, I don't know when it's coming out. I might be at Animal Con when you're watching. Now come by and get some shed art. It's gonna be really, really cool. So these guys, these are my Chinese Cobras that I don't really showcase too much. Just because they're little and crazy and they're super bitey. And normally Chinese Cobras are black. And they're very, very dark, it's like dark brown and black even. This is a pearl Chinese Cobra. So they have this really nice light coloration on them. Almost like a, almost like a lavender. I'll safely put him in here, get in there. Nice, get this cage nice and situated. Got that enclosure nice and clean, so we're gonna go ahead and take out this Chinese Cobra, put him back in his enclosure, close it nice and safely, like this. Boom, and now we'll get the other one. I already took the lock off the cage. We'll go ahead, get him out. I think this is my female. Super pretty, but fast freaking Cobras. Now, honestly, dealing with the bigger Cobras is a lot more safer than dealing with these small ones. These small ones are super, super fast and a little bit on edge, but dude, nonetheless, they're beautiful Cobras. Look at that head. So pretty. Nice light coloration on them. Very, very cool. Do a little maneuver right there. Back in here. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go. Working down the line. Put this little Chinese Cobra back. And then, time for the black and white spitters and I got these new face shields from Amazon that protect your whole face it should work out a lot better than stupid glasses we used to use. Spitting Cobra time and check these out. 15 bucks on Amazon. Oh, that didn't work the way I thought it was going to. These things are great. 
No more having to worry about having venom all over your face and getting in your eyes when you're washing it off. That way this protects your whole face. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three of them out and I'm going to put them in this receptacle at the same time. That way it just makes it easier. I can just go ahead and clean all three of these cages. They're all different patterns. So I have a banded one, a striped one, and then the male has like this gray spot on the back of his head so I can easily tell which one is which. Go ahead, get out my first guy. Oh, oh, you see how she just comes right up after my hand? These things are super, super biting out, but not really spitting a whole lot. Hey, all right, cool. Go ahead, put you down there. Go ahead, grab the next one. This is my other female. This is the female that actually produced a bunch of babies that I have over at Stone's house that I have to go grab. I think there's maybe two or three more babies still over at Stone's. Got a shed in there. And then this is my male. Now you can see the male's head. See how the male kind of has like, almost like a pie pattern on the back of his head. Very, very cool. Normally their heads, the other two have completely black heads, but this one is a little bit different. Close to my hand there, and down there, there we go. Look at that, bin full of black and white spitters. All right, so let's get the lid put on here, safe and secure, hook on top. Now let's get these cages clean. Do one, buddy. All right, while I'm doing that, Brandon's doing the healers and the beaded. So let's get these guys out. So Looks cool, like, dude. Yeah, that's more like a secure way, but you know, they're, they're chill. He's just showing Josh how to hold these guys. Josh hasn't really worked with them a whole lot, but now he's going to be. There we go. Put them back in there. Now that is the male right there. Let me see that beautiful man. Look at that beautiful freaking lizard. They're so cool, dude. Such a slept on lizard, man. They're so freaking awesome. Gotta have Heloderma on your freaking venomous list, man. It's so sick. And now you guys will both be able to keep them eventually. How cool is that? Put them in there. Nice, nice clean enclosure. Oh, look at this little Tyler Owen sticker right here. Look at that. Got my friend Cole's tattoo on it. So cool. And these are the spitter cages, which are looking good too. I got new hide boxes in each one of the cages, so that way they feel nice and secure and they can hide a little bit better. And then we have the beaded's. They're getting bigger too. Now these guys are still have a lot to grow. They're probably gonna get three times this size. So awesome. Very similar to the Gila monsters, just different locality. Obviously different pattern. This is a Rio Forte beaded lizard. They also come in just black. The just black ones are like five grand a piece for babies, bro. Yeah, but they're sick. Completely black. One day I'll have them, but I gotta make some more money first. There we go. And then there's the other one. He's not Oh, he's happening. not being nice? Yeah, they're a little... The Gila monsters are pretty tame, but these beaded lizards, they're fast. And they'll turn around and try to grab your ass. Put these guys back. All right, so we got the banded one up top. So I'll grab the banded female right here. It'd be awesome if there was like all white black and white spitter, just like super high white, no black. Maybe just even like a pie, like just black head. Next, we got the other striped female. So it's this one right here. Very, very pretty snakes, man. All that white and black contrast, very cool. Here, we put her back in there. Yep, tail in there. Now we got our big boy right here. Very cool. Just white stripe all the way down. Very, very light colored tail. Lots of speckling on him. And like I said, that freaking head. Not very common for them to have speckles on their head like that. So that's really cool. I love this guy. Put all the locks in. Good to go. Time to take care of the mangs. The water I just replaced the other day. We got this little dead chick that I guess didn't eat. My female is in shed. She's up here up top. I tried feeding her yesterday and she refused because obviously she ain't in shed. She's a little on the dark side right now. But the male is chilling right here at the bottom. We're gonna try to give him a chick right now. So let's see if he takes it. He should. I gave him one the other day. There we go. Just like that. Oh yeah, look at that thing right there. So freaking rad. What a cool snake, man. Just so absolutely beautiful and they're just eating chicks right now but i really want to get them transitioned to rats soon so once i get them back to like a nice good weight on these chicks probably in the next like week or so i like to take the rats and i soak them in chicken broth to kind of trick them and they don't know the difference literally put some chicken broth on it and they just slam them down no problem at all so now that he's eating real quick i'm just gonna get this nice
nice and sprayed down. Get the humidity back up in this cage and these photos right here. These ones are doing great and these ones are dying. I'm not exactly sure why, but we're gonna give everybody some water right now. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't interfere with him eating, but it shouldn't. Just give everything some water, make it nice and humid in there. Indigo snake is getting a nice meal. These guys are growing like weeds now that I got them in these bigger enclosures. Looking great, like look, look how, how big that these guys are getting now. Now we got a nice meal for the other one. This is my female down below. And that is a wrap. We still got some rodents, got some feeders to feed everybody. We got a couple of random things to get fed, but everything is nice and clean in my beautiful snake room. Looking so good. It's gonna be really fun showing them all around, all the, all the different animals we got over here. Showing off all the snakes and doing some cool filming for you guys. So stay tuned for all of that. Stay tuned for a bunch of super rad videos, guys. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Go pick up shop shirts, go pick up Riders Ranch shirts, we got kids clothes, we got all sorts of cool stuff. We're gonna get this room finished up, nice and buttoned up. Josh is sweeping, getting it looking real nice for tomorrow. Until next time guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless, love you, goodbye.